They say you have claws. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh Want to take a look? <gasps> yes, please. Okay then. Here you go. I hope these candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. See you soon. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Haya, I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. You really are different from everyone else. So we've shaken hands. Now we're good friends. Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Well, lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got whole groups dedicated to lion dancing. Our troupe, for example. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh. Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Well, actually, yes, it is. Jinjo people love feeding our guests. It's our way of showing hospitality. Get ready to be blown away by the amazing flavors here. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn them down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. 
my first clients nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. Grace your door, good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the Lion Dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our reservation was tomorrow. Did you maybe mix up the time? Ah, uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now, on to the next client. Hmm. I remember it's a young couple. Blissful union, endless delight, love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you, and this one here. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day, so... Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the Lion Dance officiant ceremony during our wedding. It's an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the Lion Dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, isn't it still a unique way to exchange vows in front of your loved ones? And it symbolizes, to the world's end, your hearts aligned. To the sky's edge, your fates entwined. Oh, that's so sweet. My partner's a soldier in training, headed to defend our borders soon. The Lion Dance show for departing soldiers must mean a lot to him. Shang, what do you say? Sure, I'm happy to go along with whatever you want. Okay. Hmm. We'll need some more time to think it through. No problem. 
I'll wait to hear from you. All right. Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh, my stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. This is the place. Hey, a mister. Lion peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request. I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. Nah, no need to worry about my little shop, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh! And you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help you attract more customers. Oh, my! That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, <laughs> somehow the nickname sounds cute even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a metre long and its claws shred prey with ease. No, that's not true. The jingle beast doesn't look like that. It... It's, a uh, a friend of mine. Wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. But the Jingle Beast has been messing things up. Can't find good meat anywhere right now. Do you have any other ways to rep- Well, there's only one place left to get it, and it's run by this exile group called the Savages. Apparently, they're in cahoots with the Jingle Beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual price. It's insane. I'm just a small shop. How am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon.
<laughs> oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking and you'll find it. but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal, really. Thanks for coming to check on me. I received a strange request from the Bay family it didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. Beishi, do you have an older brother? How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. And since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Bei Shi, has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Bei Ji. It's been a week now, and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. Was he acting strange the last time you saw him? My brother and I stopped talking to each other a while back, after a big fight. I don't even know when he last left our house. But he still sends me packages from time to time. It's been a bunch of strange stuff. This package has old Angelica flowers. They don't smell good anymore. And these meats, they're almost bad, even though they're refrigerated. Anything else he told you? He mentioned hanging out with people from the Savages in one of his letters. I didn't tell anyone because I was worried my brother would get in trouble if I reported it to the police. Yeah, the savages seem shady. And there's talk of the Jingle Beast being connected to them. But the return addresses on these packages are all different. How are we supposed to find him? I see. Rover, you're so clever. Beishi, leave it to me. I'll help you find your brother. Can I go with you? I get it, Beishi. You really want to find your brother. But it's dangerous out there with the TD outbreaks happening more frequently. I can't guarantee your safety if we run into a spreading tacit field. 
I can handle it. I used to be a member of the Pioneer Association, too. Us pioneers never, never back down from a challenge. But I... If you insist. Okay, but we'll need to ask Rover about it. He's a strong resonator. With him, we'll be safer on our journey. To be honest, I don't want to drag my friend into this. But this is an emergency, and Beishi wants to tag along, so I'm asking a favor of you. Rover, I know it's a big ask. But please, please help me. Amazing! Thank you, Rover! The guy who brings my packages is always the same dude, and I know where he works from. Okay, let's get this dealt with. Rover, are you ready? calling for help. Over there! The Hu chiefs are attacking someone! Thank you, you saved my life. Are you all right? Thanks for asking. I'm fine. I could have run away, but then the packages wouldn't reach their recipients. Of course, we promise we deliver. That's our slogan at Lalo Logistics. We're searching for a missing person who used your service. Can you help us? Sure, you just saved my life. I'll tell you everything I can remember. Hmm, uh, I'm sorry, but this doesn't ring any bell. But we just checked the package tracker and it said you were the delivery man. M maybe it was a mistake? I see. Well, we still have another question. The savages, yeah, sounds familiar. Do you know the Tingle Beast? That monster everyone's been talking about recently? You mean the Jingle Beast, right? Yeah, whatever. That dangerous man-eating thing. It's said that they know how to communicate with that ferocious beast. So people have been paying them to talk the Jingle Beast out of attacking humans. That's all I know, sir. Thank you, but I've got one last question. Do you know where we can find the Savages or the Jingle Beast? Sorry, but we have our rules to, to follow. I cannot divulge details of our clients, but... I heard the Jingle Beast is often found roaming in a campsite. It's somewhere near a broken tree on that mountainside. Well, those working on the guard tower can often spot it, too. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. Sir, may I remind you? That thing is very dangerous. 
It's ferocious beyond your wildest imagination. Please be careful. And there may be more than one of them. Don't worry. If there really was a second Jingle Beast, well, I'll have to see it for myself. Oh well, we didn't get anything useful from him. Yeah, at least now we know the Savages and the Jingle Beast are definitely connected. Besides, did you see his expression? He seemed frightened. I bet he was hiding something from us out of fear. Well, at least we still got some clues from him, like where we can find the Jingle Beast. But there are so many campsites in the wild. How can we pinpoint its exact location with a couple of words from him? Follow me. Let's keep our eyes open for anything unusual. Campsite near a broken tree and visible from the guard tower. I think I know where it is. That's the place. Let's look around and stay alert. From the size of this campsite, it doesn't look like they can hold a big gathering here. The broken tree... It should be somewhere up ahead. Let's keep walking, hmm? I just heard people talking. It's coming from above that slope. Shh. Let's lay low. Let's not step on those bushes. Try not to make any noise. How did it go? <laughs> You're so smart, boss. That Jingle Beast rumor really did the trick. So they're really here? Shh, keep quiet. Do you see these bushes? These bushes are not supposed to grow so well on exposed ground. Must be planted on purpose. There might be traps hiding underneath. Let's stay put and listen to what they're saying. Oh, about that new guy? He's been getting things down quickly. I'll give him that. Hmm, he's too nosy. Can't shut up about the jingled beast. Let him go find the beast if he's so eager. And then we'll handle him ourselves. Boss, I heard this guy we're dealing with is tough. He probably won't believe in the Jingle Beast rumor. Let's see how he feels after we rough him up in the dark. You get it now? Brilliant plan, boss. You're relentless. <laughs> Watch and learn, kid. You're just a pup. You don't know what really scares people. But I'll come with you this time. All right, everyone, let's go. Grab your stuff. Phew, are they gone? No. Wait, they're still near. I can still hear them breathing. They're on high alert, but they're still inexperienced by beast standards. Okay, now they've gone farther away. Let's go check it out. By reaching a higher SOL3 phase, you will have the opportunity to gain more rewards after defeating enemies or clearing Sonoro Spheres. However, be warned that the enemies you encounter will also be more dangerous, and vice versa.